Oh, uh, come on back here. Okay. Oh, there Hi, you are. Hi, honey. How are ya? How are you? Mm, so good to see you. I've got the perfect pair of shoes for you. That's perfect. Now wait here and I'll show you how they match. Oh my God. Look, this the match is just perfect, Patty. You're doing every detail perfect this time. It better be. It's I've been working be. on this since January. So. Oh my gosh. Oh you have to match inside and outside. What color is your underwear? Maybe we're going to have to get you well, some pink underwear. We don't, but what do you think? I just won't wear any. How's that? Then it'll <laughs> match. <laughs> then it'll match. I'll that find be... I'll find some pink underwear for you. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Pink well, undies. I will say one thing, it does match. I think that's kind of sweet. I never thought of that. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to say we're going to get up on the chair oh, and we're right. going to try on the dress. Okay, here we go. Right up until I was about 40, my mother kept saying, are you still stripping? And I'd go, Mom, I'm 37. Mom gave it up years ago. At 26, I went back to school to Ryerson. The only reason I went to Ryerson was because I was just a stripper and I wanted to get a degree. After I graduated in 1985, that's when I ran the ad in the paper, Take a Walk on the Wild Side. Who's that girl? It could be you. An opportunity for a man to be made to look like a woman with makeup and costumes. And the phone rang off the hook. When I had my store in 1987, the first day, August 1st, I had three customers booked and two costumes. That was it. It was so simple. All we did mostly was talk. And then I did makeup for them and we talked for an hour. The thing is, people needed to be encouraged. And so I encouraged them. That's a nice perfume. Uh, Gucci. Mm. Yeah. All right, okay. come on out, come back here. So I just want to quickly take a look at some shoes. Like, do you want leopard? Oh, no, no, no. What do, black, just, just black. Just black. Yeah. But the, um... These look nice. Oh, Patty, they look fantastic. Look at those. You want to try the other one yeah. on? Why do they call them teacher shoes? Well, I call them teacher shoes because that's what the teachers I went in grade school, this is what they used really? to wear. Really? Oh. Didn't your teachers wear shoes like No, that? I didn't have, like, kinky teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some other women wearing them. They look great, you know? Leaning it. Hmm. <laughs> Come I, on, girl. Lean against what? The wall? Yeah, just kind of like, yeah, you know. All right, now, you come back and forth and then go into the light and turn around a bit. <laughs> okay, how's that? Good. Now, just relax. No big deal. Yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay. See, they turned out great. Come 
on in. I have a beautiful new hair for you. You usually like it when I pick out a wig. Yeah. Do you want me to pick something out for you? Yeah. Okay. I got a chair here because I know it's hard for you to walk. Yeah. I'm going to bring the chair right here. Look at me. Okay, hold on. Your glasses are coming down. Were you ever blonde before? Oh, yeah, a number of blonde wigs. Uh huh. Did you have any long blonde ones? Well, they were dumb, medium. Dum, da dum, dum. There we go. What do you think of that? All right. All right? Just all right? I don't know about It's not me. doing it for you? No. How about red? Yeah. Check this out. Okay, put your head up. This is cute. All right, you ready for the look? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's the best one yet, isn't it? I that is. Is that the one? I I liked it. That's the one. You look 20 years younger in this hair. Does that make me 49 to 59? Are you 69? Yeah. I'm 61. We made it into our uh, 60s. How do you feel about turning 70? Well, uh, <laughs> another year older. No, now we're richer. <laughs> Back from five. Thanks. New boots? Uh, same one. With the way that my foot is, I decided these would be comfortable. They fit a little tighter. Yeah, good. Okay, relax. You do some of your own plucking at home? A little bit with the scissors, if I can find them. Oh. <laughs> That's a, such a man thing to do. I, I don't need to pluck them. I got scissors. So, 1992 you were coming, eh? Where were you living back then? Barry. And are you still there? No, nope, up up in Acton. Oh, great. Yeah, but it's still 40 miles. Uh, it's still two hour bus ride. Is this a secret? I gotta watch myself in Acton because there's only certain hours I can get away with being dressed. When the kids are around, I gotta be careful. Especially in the morning, if I have to come out in the morning. I'm going to put your wig on now. Mm -hmm. And then we can see what you look like. Mm -hmm. And this is the Alexis that you have been ever since I met you. Every time that wig wears out, you get a new one. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That's you. Oh my. They fit. Cinderella, here are your slippers. Oh, they really feel nice. Come and oh. stand up. There. What do you think? Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Let's get the dress. Let's get okay. the dress. 
You ready to go up on the table? Here we go. Okay. There. All right. Now hold on to that little thing. I'm going to get your dress. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, better take these off. Looks like you're on the diving board. Put your arms yes. in here. Arms in here. Good. No, don't turn around. Okay. You leave it up to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I haven't gained any weight. Good. <laughs> and it's beautiful. Perfect. I'm not um, that macho, but neither am I that feminine. This is just a side of me that I've always fancied and wondered, could I do it if I really tried? So this is my really try. And what is the idea of the mask? It's just like you can be anyone you want to be. Instead of someone recognizing the shape of your face, is it this way? I can be whoever I want to be. And I don't have to say a word. I just became Eve. Almost. People might find another place to buy a wig or another place to buy breast forms, but people still want a store. They can go online, but they want physical contact where they're seeing somebody in the room with them and talking to them. And at the end of the conversation at the end of the transformation and I go so don't worry now you come back and everything and uh, I won't tell anybody and they look at me and they go it's okay I trust you so I'll be here for a long time to come and I will have customers for a long time to come.